medication. Blood yeah. pressure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's right. So, because it opens the vessels up, which the vasodilator or whatever. Yeah, yeah, which lowers the blood pressure. And then, yeah, then it was worked so good. Yeah, just straight to your cock, and then from there it goes straight to your hypertrophic <laughs> needs in the gym. Catch imagine, a pump. imagine finding a drug on accident that's turned into a trillion dollar industry. Well, that's the same thing with. Um, uh, oh my god! Zempic? Uh, no, with the ha- the <laughs> hair loss <laughs> drug. I think it was Zempic too, though. I think it's one of those. Ozempic was developed for um, uh, diabetes. Right, and now they're using it for weight loss. Yeah, yeah. because it diabetes. because it caused that. It caused the weight loss when when people. Right, right, it. right. Yeah, yeah. That's what we're saying though. Like something uh, was it made for this and then ended up yeah. popular for this. But um, minoxidil is a was a blood pressure drug. Um, finasteride was a. Um, prostate shrinking drug oh they can shrink your prostate yeah well that's yeah <laughs> you need some more room or <laughs> well, i was thinking about people like that you I get older and get bigger <laughs> i just want to get super big <laughs> why wouldn't you, you like, the, the like a prostate. football size Isn't that the male g-spot unless you want it bigger than <laughs> rather than i think it is so no, it, it, i mean for people with with uh bph benign prostatic hyper whatever plasia maybe i don't know oh. trophy Trophy makes it sound like it's a muscle, so I don't know. So since we're talking about old people things, we're talking about Logan today. Logan, good old old Logan. Old Logan. Let's get the negative out of the way. Hits every time. I don't really have any negatives. I have negatives everywhere. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. So we talked about, I think, in the past podcast that X-Men in particular just, like, fucked up all the movies because there's a million timelines. They don't line up. There's different casts. Wolverine's like obviously, and, and and Professor X are the two very consistent actors, at least. But I, like, you just don't know where everything is, and I hate that. Yeah, that's something that Marvel's obviously done perfectly. Okay, so I dove deep into this last night, uh, and there are in the movies there are only two timelines. Okay. In the comics, there are multitudes. Yeah, the comics are a gigantic, gigantic clusterfuck. You're talking about like, yeah, yeah. You're talking about like multiverse. I'm, I'm just talking about like when the movies come out and when they take place. Okay, I think obviously Marvel switches like a movie or two, but it comes in a timeline. uh, Yeah, Days of Future Past is just maybe in a period before this movie. And then like and five then years. Seven I haven't years, seen it. Like that. Wolverine's in Deadpool, obviously. Yeah. So he's not dead. Spoiler. No, he is. Oh. He is the whole opening sequence. Well, I haven't seen it. Yeah, it so starts. It starts. No spoilers. Then you don't want any spoilers. Uh, I don't care. Well, but I'm just saying. Like, how am I supposed to know? If you've been okay. on social media like at all in the last week, you have seen the bye 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 dance, and that is the opening sequence of of. Um, where this movie ends, it's that movie kind of starts at where the grave yes. is. Oh, okay. Exactly. Exactly. See, I didn't know that. And so, yeah, I haven't seen it. And yeah. my, my social media is much. Deadpool's the only thing hold that <laughs> is it keeping together the X Men at this point. This is correct. At the in in uh, Deadpool two, uh, Cable is a character, and mm-hmm, Cable yeah. has a time travel device. Yeah. And that also can change, um, like Earths. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And so he still got it at the beginning of, of uh, uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. And so he goes, uh, he starts jumping around trying to find a job, not to give away too much. Yeah. And then the TVA from Loki grabs him and says, you have to perform this task. And performing the task is finding a Wolverine who can save whatever timeline? Okay. And yeah, they, they tie in like the like the, yeah the time they tie in they tie in that Loki show. Yeah, yeah, a little yeah, bit. yeah. And then he escapes from them, and he goes to the grave of Wolverine, thinking that from this movie, the Logan Wolverine. Yeah, the Logan Wolverine, thinking mm. that he might not really be dead, because he regenerates all the time. Yeah. And he has promised not to hurt any of the TVA uh, agents that are chasing him with um, with his weapons and so he uses Wolverine's skeleton as his weapons yeah. 
and it's all to the whole sequence is to that's out now to buy 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 yeah uh, you got to pay though pay yeah it's 25 bucks no i don't play that game to rent 2024 i don't play that it game. was cheaper for me to go see it yes that blockbuster is cheaper when they come with those prices i'll do it i mean what are we doing nowadays where 25 dollars to rent a movie i, I mean, need a dollar 99 dog i mean i have a feeling that most they would get three times the revenue i think in the, even in the end game if it was like ten dollars yeah. What, what was Blockbuster? It was like a dollar ninety nine for three days and three ninety nine for five days or some shit. Yeah, like a new release, hot Blockbuster yeah, movie. Like no pun intended. Like a hot, hot movie was like maybe a little bit more premium. Yeah, yeah. swear is three ninety nine. So even if it's five ninety nine now, I could maybe get down. Not not to get off of Mike's um, timeline point, but to flash back to to the, the last episode that we did with Terminator Two, that was just a fucking better time for retail, man. <laughs> yeah. 90s, yeah. much better time for retail. Yeah. Malls, retail was great. Malls still worked. Yeah, there malls was just, don't work anymore. Don't, malls don't work anymore. There's outdoor a, malls kind of work. Yeah, there's a resurgence in outdoor malls. Yeah, they could used to call them strip malls, and they used to just be ugly, and now they kind of yeah, I think figured I, out the ma- how yeah. to make them a little more attractive. So much, sadly, I do think is California. Because you go to, like, Vegas, and, like, the mall by me is bumping. Every day, all day. I feel like it's so speci- like such a unique situation, though. Maybe because it's like the spending m- capita. Yeah, I yeah. don't know if it is in the burbs though. People that live there is different than who goes to the strip. I'm not talking about the strip. Oh, are you talking about like like off strip? Yeah, I'm talking. Yeah, my mall, Got my it. local mall, Got it. is bumping. Yeah, it's you're also in the middle of a desert. It's true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's not a lot around. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just saying. I feel like it's California because I went to yeah. the mall in Ohio last summer too. Much different. Those Middle Earth, uh, Middle Earth, Middle uh, Middle America <laughs> people. Like fucking hobbits? Flyover yeah. states. You think I'm a fucking hobbit, Middle bro? Earth, Middle, Earth? Middle Earth people. You think Gandalf's fucking <laughs> shopping at Zoomies next to me? He's a, oh, he's a hot topic. Gandalf's <laughs> a hot topic. I just feel like it's uh, cost of, of everything in California ruins the retail. No, yeah. Right? It because it's cost contributes. of the company that has to be in there. The cost of living, so then people are spending less. You can yeah. see it with cars, too. Like, uh, everywhere can... Like, here you can drive by a million-dollar house... Or even me. I own a house. I can't own a car. I can't afford a car. You know, where you go in the middle, the middle Earth, and they own a house, and then they also have a nice car. A nice truck. Because nice they can house. afford both. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I've noticed that in Vegas for sure, because housing and everything's well, cheaper. Fuck, yeah, dude. California is a mess. So then, like, <laughs> if you're trying to run a small business, like a boutique in a mall, it's going to be fucking tough. Yeah, but I think that what really killed it is the internet. I just think that, like, the internet is Skynet. Skynet has won. Yes. We just have to agree that oh, Skynet yeah. has won. Yeah, I mean, obviously, that's the, simu- that's the real simulation. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah right. obviously, e-com is giant. But I'm just saying that the, I think it's a a, uh, a bubble that we live in here in California. Yeah, we yeah, for sure. It's one of those things. Also, like, once you leave California, they say you can't afford to come back. Probably not. That's kind of like what they say. Like, I say, if you move out of state no. and you go live somewhere else. They say that you like you literally can't afford to come back. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. Because everything changes. Like your money that you make changes. Your you know the tax. All it's yeah. like, They say it's like once you leave, like the odds of you coming back or and being able to like keep the same lifestyle are like pretty much non-existent. There's still states with minimum wage that's half of what California's minimum wage is. Yeah, but everything costs twice as much, so it's a wash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, <laughs> but I'm just saying, like yeah, yeah, to yeah. your point, yeah, to yeah, your yeah. point, you no, go yeah. somewhere and your whole economy's turned upside down. For sure, and then that's yeah, and you can't bring that half the money here to yeah. and then or know. automatically double it yeah overnight not gonna happen no where so, do you guys rank logan in like your favorite marvel movies you or, know i guess marvel universe right i just think it's a tough watch because it's a downer movie it's very good i mean it's I really it. really good um i think that the biggest negative of it honestly is not about the movie itself it's about um, Patrick Stewart totally loved doing this this movie, and he's very unhinged in this role. Obviously, yeah. this is not tied to anything he's ever done before. I mean, he's pr- Professor Xavier like this much. He's you know, he's the kooky old man. He's a kooky old man. And when he got approached to, to go back to Picard from from uh, Next Gen. He's like, yeah, I wanted to be something like that. And the first season was so fucking dark. And then the second season was so confusing. <laughs> and it, and the thing he didn't want to do was like a, basically to revisit all of, of the next generation and those characters. And that's what they did in the season three. And it was great. Mm-hmm. His judgment about this is just totally wrong. But I get that he enjoyed doing this movie because he got to score. Uh, squ- wear like a sailor yeah, yeah the, and the, the secret that, that, that crossover adds, adds to it nicely well so logan was made by sony deadpool wolverine first disney or no still sony 
first Disney. So the crossover that's happening here. So did, did Disney buy Logan? Because it's on Disney Plus. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. You know, they got it. They got it when they got everything. Yeah, like, like the Spider Man. That's yeah. how they got the X Men '97 yeah, it, it, and all that. It's not Sony. It's Fox. Yeah, and they bought yeah. Fox. Yeah, so it all transferred, but it was originally made by Sony, right? Produced. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> no, yeah, Disney Fox. Oh, so the X Men, uh, X Men was all owned by by um, by Fox, and Spider Man, and that whole had Sony bit rights. Was all Sony. Got e- it. Either way, you take the old demented. Professor X now, and we bring in Jack Sparrow, and I feel like they're the duo that we need on the crossover. <laughs> that would be funny as fuck, right? I feel like they're the same dude. Like they're highly intelligent, but then they're also like belligerently drunk. Like Professor X isn't drinking per se in this movie, but he acts that way. How he talks, right? He's like two faced or like split personalityed. Yeah, well, he's, he's just a medicated. Yeah, he's, he's a like, medicated genius. Yeah, m- mutant. I'm because not 100 sure when if he's if he's more lucid when he's taking the drugs or when he's not taking the drugs. Yeah, yeah it's he's like fucked him both. So, I don't remember the comic much. I remember the, but I do remember the comic was kind of his own standalone thing too, right? Old, old man Logan. Yeah, yeah, it was just like yeah. a this multi, almost a multiverse type of thing. It's yeah. like another like. Do we know the backstory on Professor X is like accident? Like his. Was like it what accident? happened? Or what? I thought it was dementia for real. Uh, like some big thing happened. Uh, well, yeah, because he's got. Well, yeah, the thing that happens in Oklahoma City at the at the casino where everyone slows down yeah. and they can't move. A bunch of people died in one of those incidents a few years before this, which is why Logan has taken him into hiding. And this takes place in 2024. No, in the movie, 2029. Oh, okay. Because I remember you talking about the car. He was like, "The car oh, the is 20. in 2024." God, that's what it was. Okay. But it's it fi- it's five years old. Okay, got it. it 2029 did. makes sense. Yeah. Although some of it, some of that raised my eyebrow because I didn't know the year. I was like, because they try to do these advanced ass Tesla fucking drive yourself uh, semi trucks, mm-hmm. but then like nothing else feels new. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like everything else feels like it's actually like 2003. <laughs> And then just that. Yeah, like the f- the phones are not... Nothing. You know, up to date or anything the like casino, that. The casino... They didn't... Obviously, it's Oklahoma, but... Yeah. Like, everything just feels old. You yeah, I think they really, they really tried to keep things in the wilderness to avoid, like, I think, dating yeah. d- dating it. Yeah. yeah. Which they did a good job of, generally. But it was j- it's just that one semi-truck scene, obviously, where that thing goes crazy. That is the only thing that feels, like, futuristic. Yeah. Yeah. When obviously X Men in general, they have a, a uh, like an airplane that lifts vertically. Like uh, clearly, right. we're yeah. not in reality, but yeah, yeah. But yeah. in this movie, that's like the cool part of this movie to me is that it is reality, right? Like this is the first superhero movie that could be real. Like if this right, like it feels that way at least. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It feels well, it feels very uh, minimal. There's no minimal. lasers. Yeah. There's no fucking crazy shit. There's bullets, shit. There's Even bullets the, you know. and, the, and the guy happens to have things come out of his hands. Yeah. Like, obviously, Wolverine's a bit different. And but the like, little yeah. Latin chick. But everyone else is normal. Yeah. The driving's normal. The fucking... Yeah. Right? I, They're not, like, teleporting. <laughs> what Every other X-Men movie, it's like, we're off. <laughs> oh, I'm going to change my skin to something yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. And then they're more. flying through space. Did you catch why there are no mutants anymore? Or very few mutants anymore? Genocide? <laughs> Yeah, basically. Yeah. Well, I know that's the whole root yeah. of X Men. Yeah. <laughs> High fructose corn syrup. Oh, I didn't hear that. That was genetically engineered. High fructose corn syrup. That's what was killing them. Yes. Just mutants on purpose. Then. Just mutants on purpose. Probably on purpose. Because yeah, I mean, that's purpose. the whole root of X Men. So, like, right? their their kryptonite is corn syrup. Uh, well, uh, not corn with syrup. Some shit. Ju- no, yeah, with with it altered so that it does something interacts with their Jeez. with their genetic mutations. I mean, that's that's the cool part. Even as a kid, I kind of understood, like, the racist ties to, to X-Men. Yeah. yeah. Right? Like, that's yeah. cool. Like, yeah. there's a real thing. Where, like, Spider-Man's cool and all that, but there's no, like, deeper shit going on. I guess Uncle Ben, but... Yeah. You know, like, this has, like, undertones of... That's what dude, That's why this movie's so fucking good, man. It is. I, I just love the... Obviously, the violence of it, the gore of it. Yeah. Just like, oh, this feels like 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 a comic book or like like, yeah. like the darker, more edgy comics. You know, just the... Yeah. This is what would really be happening. Yeah. The other movie that I think about in terms of superheroes that's that's very grounded, it seems very grounded. Actually, two that seem really grounded in reality. Um, uh, Unbreakable, the M. Night Shyamalan movie. Yeah. Um, it, guy discovers he's a superhero, mm-hmm. which is 
awesome. And then um, Chronicle, where these kind of Reeves. Uh, what no. Chronicle? What's Chronicle? Chronicle is, uh, I think it's Colin Trevorrow. I think it's the guy who um, was supposed to be doing one of the uh, sequel Star Wars movies, and he lost the movie just to somebody hmm. somewhere along the line. Hmm. Um, he's done a bunch of other stuff. I'm not going to look up his filmology at the moment, but um, it's like teenagers, teenage dudes out in the woods doing a dude thing, and they get exposed to this meteor that gives them crazy powers oh uh, okay i don't think i've seen that isn't there a series like that too Sh- really shitty like a wb type series oh, i'm sure that there is yeah, yeah i forgot and they tried to make it feel real but yeah. it's fucking some like power ranger-esque feeling shit G- chronicle just the way it's shot feels real you know how um it's like a like a lot of like steady cam like holding it yeah yeah the um cloverfield like the first cloverfield yeah. felt very real yeah that could because of all the shaky cam stuff mm-hmm. and yeah that's that's what it feel, felt like to blair me. witch Blair yeah, Witch the is real, the realest movie that's ever. The, yeah, that's the the goat right yeah. there. I mean, that's yeah, that changed. What like, a phenomenon! That, changed, like, that that kind of changed the way movies were done. Yeah, the the found footage thing, and that isn't even how they started out. They they intended for the found footage part of it to be just part of the movie, and there was like straight shot stuff. Really, and it just didn't work. Yeah, and so they just committed fully to to the found footage idea. The whole. Yeah. Yeah, what made that movie so special was the fact you never saw the threat. Yeah. Well, and they like if they would have shot the threat. That would have been that would have ruined it all. Yeah. Yeah. When they rumored like even their marketing was like I never even seen the movie. Oh, that it honest. was like real. Yeah. Or like and then and then you're like was it real? And then the next level of marketing was like well it wasn't real, but these people were just in uh uh you know Times Square or they're just in the park. It was you know and they just shot. You know, and you're like, oh, so it's like half real, and like, you know, yeah. like it kind of evolved. Well, it was like also the like the the boom of reality TV yeah. too, right? That's yeah. when like all like the road rules and real world and all that yeah. was like at its peak. Yeah, even right. Like Survivor Wasn't and shit, probably. Yeah, uh, I think, I think uh, early two thousands. Early two thousands, right? Think, like Survivor kind of came the out. The challenge, then. like road rule, yeah. road, 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 yeah. real world versus road rules challenge, like that shit was like super popular. When those things went crazy, they went crazy. Like the first season of Survivor, the first season of American Idol, yeah. Like those things, I feel like were worldwide phenomena. Like they yeah. went, they're phenoms. They went crazy, not phenomena, phenomenons. Phenomena. Same shit. Yeah, I um. Ninety, yeah, ninety nine was Blair Witch Project. Ninety nine, yeah. I yeah, mean, right that's like there. that. Yeah, right there. that's the real world started. I think in Pro- probably the 90s. early nineties, yeah, or mid nineties. Yeah. Um, but yeah, kind of that, like, yeah, following people around with right. a camera. Yeah, feeling like, yeah. 92, real world. Oh, yeah. yeah. Real world New York. That one was a little bit more of a slow burn, like, uh, in terms of its popularity. But by 99, it was pop. Pop. That's the point. Yeah, like, 92 was like, eh. But then 99, it was like hot. I feel like it really took off. Kenny. With, like, Vegas. The Vegas one. What was Kenny? Uh,. Sh- he was, I think... He was early. He was fairly early. I don't know if he... I think he might have been in the 2000s, though. Oh. I could be wrong. You might be right. And then M, you know M. Schramm? Yeah. Yeah, yeah she, she was, was on, on the, there. She was on the most recent season. Uh, of the challenge. Uh, the challenge. Comeback. Comeback season. Yeah, she made a comeback. She got totally screwed, actually. I didn't watch it, but I follow her, and I saw that she wasn't happy. Yeah, it was... Yeah, it was not a fair... Uh, like a little... Elimination. Yeah, disqual. Um, All those shows, they were good. I... I uh, Dystopia sci-fi is a great yeah. uh, categorization of, of Logan. That's one of my favorites, I think, now looking back. You know, like, a lot of people have qualms with I Am Legend and sh- shit like that, and, that, and you can call it a zombie movie if you want, but I think I like it because it's kind of the sci-fi apocalyptic. This movie? The or Logan the genre? and the genre. Yeah. Both, both, both. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because like, I, I don't think I'm a zombie guy, but I think I like I Am Legend because it's more like Logan. It's like gr- grungy, raw cyberpunk meets future uh, sci-fi apocalyptic. Yeah. I mean, the cast in this movie was pretty stellar, too. I yeah. mean, you got high-profile actors that are, like, talented. It also made it good, right? It wasn't just a bunch of, like, superhero people. Right. It was like, oh, they had, like, some real actors in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they did try to do it different, right? Because this was the last actual Wolverine one, and they had made, like, four Wolverines before. They were just ass. And they're all, like, six out of tens. Yeah. You know, like, I, I like them, but, like, they're not, like, good movies. Like, Comparatively the one where, the this, one where yeah. he goes to Asia and stuff, like, I like I've it. never seen all of that one, yeah. The Wolverine. That's the yeah. one before this one. People, I mean, it's not a good movie, but I like it because I like Wolverine. Yeah. You know, where this is legitimately a good mo- good movie. This might be, shit, top, you were talking about Marvel. This, this might be, like, top five superhero movie 
as like a movie, a standalone movie? Oh, probably, probably so. Right? Is it? Like it it's conf- so good. Yeah, it conforms more to your expectations of a movie than it does to a cook to a comic book movie. Yeah. But the all the comic book elements are all there. I would honestly, I would probably call it my favorite one at this point. It's good. I mean, Endgame is like right there. Sure. And like, I guess, I mean, the first, um, what's it called? Um, Infinity War. Yeah. yeah. Like, but those the all had, those all had stakes. Sure. Yeah. No, without, none of the other movies had stakes. No. And this true. movie has huge stakes. Yeah. Right? Enormous. Yeah. But the, without the lore, I feel like you can't even like Endgame. No, you have to have the the history in the right. background. Like you you gotta watch, watch gotta it, watch all the Iron Mans and shit. And the, it's the it's the edging. They it, Marvel edged the fuck out of us yeah, to get did. there. They did. We're like, yeah, you're blue balled for a decade, literal. That's what they've done so good. Yeah, we're, we're the X Men series hasn't done that at all. You're not excited for a new X Men because there's no like, oh fuck, Wolverine's hanging on a cliff and you know right. Professor X has cancer. This movie kind of just came out of nowhere too, right? Like, like people knew it was coming, but like I think not everybody like all the you know the casual audience I would consider like myself like I, I grew up watching X-Men but I'm not like an X-Men guy Same. like I'm a Star Wars guy I'm not like an X-Men guy right yeah. so it's like I didn't really know the comic Logan like uh popularity which yeah. I know is like one of the most famous popular like comic like runs that they have done with you know Wolverine um so I didn't really have any knowledge I didn't either. going into when this came out and I, I didn't either other than just everyone said oh they're doing old man Logan which is just one part of the story I had about there as much are two other comics that they based it on, and then the structure of the movie is based on Clint Eastwood movie called The Unforgiven. Hmm. Oh, it is like The Unforgiven. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that makes <laughs> sense. And and then The Searchers plays another role in it. That's what she says over the um, over the grave at the end. The song is that a it's song? It's from The Searchers. No, it's a John Ford movie. I think with John Wayne. Mm. How is another superhero company, whether it be Marvel or DC or or like a little off brand <coughs> motherfucker, how have they not tried to like replicate a movie like this? I kind of feel like the Penguin series is uh, in this in this genre because it's very real uh, world. I was going to say no, Joker. Joker is like the real world, right? There's no like lasers and shit. He's just uh, a mentally unhealthy man. Yeah, and he's like not a, even the Joker. Yeah. That's the uh, even the Joker though punchline in. in um, uh, Christopher Nolan, uh, Dark Knight, Dark Knight. Yeah, that Joker's like a real. Just yeah, normal. yeah. <laughs> even the whole trilogy is like semi-real, but it's still like Gotham-y. There's still like some aspects of of like. There's no magic though. You no, know what I mean? not tons of magic. You're right. You're That's right. why I would I would categorize Logan as like the Dark Knight version of yeah for a sure. Marvel yeah. movie because Marvel is more cartoony historically than DC. Although DC kind of ruined that with. Aquaman and some shit, right? They make it like Little Mermaid, but Justice League. Yeah, there's like a lobster like down there singing for some reason mid scene. <laughs> uh, Under the sea. Yeah, it just feels weird. Where uh, Sebastian? <laughs> yeah, it is. It is Sebastian. <laughs> but they, they sing should, it for us, Sebastian. <laughs> they, they they should do more of that. I think. I think there's like a niche there. Yeah, and you're right. Penguin, and then yeah, the, you're getting that now. The new Joker at least has that where he's just a dude in a bus going and, insane. And the new and the new. Uh, Batman, Batman, like uh, true, the newest one, true. the Batman, yeah, the Batman, yeah, yeah. But that's like, but the 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 pacing of it doesn't feel real. You know, the pacing makes it feel like a comic book movie again. Yeah, I would, yeah, I would agree. You with know, that. What I mean, because then you're in the car, and then there's cops everywhere, and then, you know, like, it, and obviously there is a big chase scene here with a bunch of thugs, but yeah, um, yeah, I just feel like there's a more real, like, down to earth, grounded superhero story to be made. I don't know if you get this, you know, if you get the Batman. You know the mo- most recent one mm-hmm. without this movie's. No, I don't think you do. Essentially, yeah. I don't think you do. Yeah. Or even yeah. Or I the think Penguin or Joker, maybe. Yeah, probably yeah. so. Yeah. The um the guy who plays Caliban. The bad guy. No, the the guy who has Profiri who can't oh, be in the sun. Oh, that's and that's right. That's yeah, that. Cal- Caliban. Yeah, that guy's a great actor. That's the first dude. Uh the yeah, alien the looking bald fuck? bald yeah. guy. Yeah, where's he come from? Well, uh, he is the co-creator of the British version of The Office and yeah. has been oh, working with, um, what's his name, for years and years and years. He was on this really funny, random uh, HBO series I watched. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, my friend's, like, my buddy's, like, uh, cousin was in the show, so I watched it or whatever. And it was super funny. He was in it, but it didn't, like, take off. Anyway, yeah, that's kind Where's of the side mutant side, from, though? He was good in it. I've never seen that mutant. No I don't one. know who the mutant is. Or what, is what was even his, like, gift or his, like, ability? I think he's, like, the uh, alien chick from, uh, 
from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. She's like extra empathetic. <laughs> Wh- which one? <laughs> the, the, the one green, with the, the tentacles. One yeah, the one with the tentacles. Oh. The, the one, one that loves Batista. The yeah, the he, just, he didn't really have any like. What yeah, the was Asian his, one. Yeah, what was his thing? I think he's Ooh, extra. Are we, are we still talking about the same guy? Yeah, the bald oh, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah the bald dude, the Caliban. Yeah, he's extra. He, he, yeah. His sense, he can sense other mutants where they are. Yeah, he's extra. Oh, but that's all. Yeah. Got that's it. all his. He's sense. Right. Right. Yes. He's what you call it, Cerebro. He's, but he didn't sense the girl in the car. Apparently not. No, he's a he's a he's they rank them. Uh, they rank them in one of the X Men. Is it X Men Two? They start ranking these hoes. They're like they're a level one, a level two, a level three mutant. Yeah. He's uh, definitely a level one bitch. He's yeah, kind he's of a, a base mild level. Mutant. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. He's an unevolved Pokemon. You don't want that thing. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, uh, inbred too many times. Yeah, <laughs> he looks inbred kind of. He's a, a weird ass dude in that movie. I thought he was the guy, the Chechen guy from Barry. I don't know if you ever watched Barry. Barry. Just I think I have seen parts of Barry. Darkest fucking comedy ever. Mm. Nadim and Nadim and my buddy, shout out JP and Nadim. They love Barry. Yeah. They love Barry. He always the guy always called Barry Barry. Um it, I thought it was the same guy. It's not. It looks some a, a lot like him, but the other guy's younger. Today's this guy's been around for a minute. Um I was gonna say that did you notice this is weird that it wasn't until I don't know if it was until um, Professor X dies, or if it was near when he dies, that the girl starts to sp- actually speak. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure I think it was after he dies. Yeah, because the evolution. She was right? talking to him telepathically, telepathically yeah. so she didn't have to talk out loud. Or he was yeah. stealing her brain. That too, yeah. that's possible. Yeah. You, uh, you rewatched it, Logan? Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. Any excuse? No, I watched it front to so back. So you did watch it. So in the hotel. Uh, the freeze is going on. He's mm-hmm. having a seizure, mm-hmm. and there's one soldier about to like snag him. Yeah, and Wolverine comes and gets him through the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's our homie. That's Luke. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah. I, okay, I yeah. know that. He's guy. in a bunch of. Sh- I think it's Fast and Furious. He's in a bunch of like. He's like a thug guy. Yeah, yeah. And Fast yeah. and Furious 23. Yeah. He fights the Rock. He was uh, Stone Cold in the Young Rock. Yeah, he's evolved a lot in. Is he the uh, coffee? Did he used to have a coffee company? No, no, you're that's thinking Tate. Of Tate. Tate. Tate does similar jobs, although, uh, and both have had very successful acting careers. And same with Keith, the other uh, Jardine, Jardine, the UFC fighter. But um, Luke's, yeah, really evolved. Because then what? The uh, the heels or whatever. He's like a star, and then he's a star in Young Rock. He's played Stone Cold. Uh, he's really stepped into, which is cool to see, because we've known him now probably eight eight years. Uh, and in the beginning, he was getting very side stuntman gigs because yeah. his his background is wrestling. Also, he runs a wrestling league in, in the south. Um, but then to evolve to get yeah full roles on HBO or whatever is fucking cool to see the grind pay off for sure for sure. And his story's nuts too. Grew up on the streets, literally homeless, foster system. Great dude though. Wow. Yeah. Shout out to Luke. Yeah. Shout out. That's cool. Yeah. The um, yeah, man. The. That those seizure scenes, yeah, they're crazy. They're like you feel that. Yeah, you're yeah. like you're just you're yeah. so anxious when that's going on. You're yeah. like, oh, he's got to get there. Yeah, it's the first time. Get I, there. I think I saw it in theaters. I remember the first time. I'm like, oh, it's intense. Yeah. I saw it in theaters for sure. Yeah, we're all about to die right now. I think last night was maybe only the second time I've seen it. Like I said, it's a hard watch because, like, Once you, you kind of know the outcome and y- y- and you s- yeah, you see you see those characters across so many movies and you're rooting for them always, yeah. right? And to see them so down on their luck and so desperate, and it's not even money necessarily that they're desperate for; it's solutions that they're yeah. desper- desperate for. Yeah, they just wanted money just to pay for more of those yeah. drugs, right? Yeah, just and the live. numbing drugs. And to bu- he's buying a trying to buy a boat oh, so yeah, that the they boat. can live out on the ocean, yeah. so that not if hurt nobody, it, yeah, if he has these seizures, then it's not going to wipe Affect everybody. Out. Even like, what's the radius? As far as he wants, yep. he was pretty big. Yeah. <laughs> even, uh, even just like having money involved is like weird for a superhero movie. Yeah, yeah. needing cash. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, like, like go, sp- he doesn't want to go rob a bank. Like even all the Spider Mans, he delivers pizzas, right? Like uh, in the Tobey Maguire ones or yeah, even the cartoons. He, he but he starts selling pictures. But they don't really like talk about the money. And you don't like, yeah, he, he's like trying to get uh, Jameson or whatever his lead photographer. He's trying to like bargain for more money, but he's yeah. not. But the money's not really like the middle of it. Yeah, but there's like money's important in this one. In the beginning there makes it feel weird and negative. And then also, uh, to your point, Jim, when Wolverine gets shot a bunch and the bullets don't come out for like three hours. Yeah. Like, Fuck, dude, what happened to my guy? Yeah, yeah they, they used to just, just pop out. Yeah. Like, that steady cough that just yeah. keeps dri- b- yeah. dripping in. You're like, oh, no. Yeah, it's not good. And, and he it, looks it. He looks fucked. When yeah. he's driving around with that little girl, he looks so fucked. All the scars that aren't yeah. healing. And his eyes are fucking drooped. He's purple. 
Yeah, he yeah. does not. Yeah, he looks not uh, not healthy. He does yeah. a great American accent. He really does. Yeah, you know, he just uh, you yeah. just kind of always forget that he's not. He's like Australian, yeah. right? Yeah, a lot of them, right? Fucking Hemsworth. Yeah, Auss- the Aussies are kind of killing it. They're kind of the and the UK heroes. people. They're all just kind of killing it. Yeah. Well, I'm watching Slow Horses right now, and um, what's his name? Uh, Elrond, um, uh, the and the Agent Smith guy from Matrix. I'm blanking on his name at the moment. Is in he's Australian too. And oh like, really? Yeah, yeah. But he's he speaks. He's an Mr. American Anderson. in a British series right now. Like acting as an American. His American accent is pretty good. Yeah. Spider Man, Holland. They're all fucking foreign. Yeah. They don't have an American goddamn hero. No, this they're all like, they're, they're, they're taken over. Only Captain America. That's all we got. Yeah. Yeah, we got. Yeah, he <laughs> retired. Evans. Yeah, and he's done. That's crazy. Although he's pro- he'll probably come back and I mean enough money or whatever. Yeah, he's going to be a villain like fucking Tony Stark. They're well, just he was it he all. was in how many how many characters did he play in in Deadpool? Yeah. Well, he's Fantastic 4 too, right? Just one. I thought he played two. I thought he was No, he was he's just Johnny Storm. Okay. That's right. That that's you know, spoilers uh, uh, too late. Everybody, I'm sorry. Spoiler alert. He's in yeah, I'm sure. Deadpool movie. and the Fantastic Four is on the way too, right? A new one. Yeah, no, yeah, that's underway. Yeah, yeah with uh, next year, Pedro Pascal. Early, early yeah. twenty six, maybe. I'm yeah. not sure which. Yeah, they'll fuck that up. I hope they don't. Because this I'm, one transferred too, right? Because uh, that used to be Fox or Sony. Used to be Fox. Yeah. yeah so they, I have a little hope. I got a little hope. It could definitely be better. I, I've never been like the most giant Fantastic Four Me neither. fan, but I think the characters aren't very interesting. That's the problem. Yeah. Jessica Biel made me a pretty big fan. Well, there's that's, that. Or that, Jessica. That's Alba. how they got us Jessica when we were younger Alba. into yeah. the theater for sure. Yeah, a big Invisible Woman fan. Yeah, yeah. I think that the problem is that um, the characters are their abilities. They don't have any character beyond that. Yeah, and yeah. there's their suits are kind of the spandex and yeah. lame. Yeah, it feels yeah. very sixties like superhero <coughs> which yeah. is why setting it back in the 50s or 60s makes a lot of sense yeah. but i'm also like i'm kind of burned out on seeing pedro pascal play everything dude yeah. like stick to like i would stick to mando and let's stick to he is last good. of us he is good but like, he's i don't in need everything. you in everything is he in game of Thrones it takes you too? out of it yeah he's in game of Thrones. yeah he's everywhere what about uh it takes you out of it doctor strange five or whatever the fuck we're on now uh and they got professor x in there have you seen that one Oh, the newest Doctor Strange. I did not see it. In Multiverse of Madness. Yeah, he's in a very brief scene. Yeah, but they they basically introduced the Fantastic Four there with yeah. the X Men because it, that that was that movie was I think the first movie that came out when they had absorbed all the Sony Fox contracts. So they like threw the teaser right away. Like, yeah, we're combining these worlds. But they, they Ryan Reynolds has been teasing it too. Yeah, yeah, they had the guy from the Office be be Reed Reynolds, um, and he's not in the. He no, he's not in the movie. Uh, oh. Uh, he's just oh, is Pascal all- that character then, the yes. lead. Oh, I didn't know. that. Yeah, he's Reed Richards. I didn't know he was the lead. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, John Krasinski plays. Um, yeah, plays Reed Richards. I thought he'd be a, good. Alternate universe. I thought he probably would have been good too. He's not one of my favorite actors or anything, but I mean, if you're if you're choosing between the two of them, you're probably going to go with Pedro Pascal. But if Pedro Pascal is not on the table, you're probably going to go John Krasinski. Although people talked about um, Clooney, but he's too old. Um, did you guys watch, did you guys watch Wolves there. on Apple TV? Watch what? Wolves. Uh-huh. I did not, I haven't seen it yet, no. I want to watch that. I don't I've, know I, it it's sitting there, but yeah, it's uh, Clooney and... Um, Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt, abs guy. And they're both like uh, <sighs> like fix-it men, like uh, assassins, right? Right, oh, yeah. That's funny. Yeah, yeah, and they like have to like work together. Like usually they're like worked uh, linearly. Like they're uh, men- almost rivals. Menestera goats or whatever. That's them. Uh, Menestera goats was they both Clooney. were in that. That movie uh, was Pitt. weird. Is it Pitt in there? Maybe. No, I think that's based on some real shit, bro. That's based it on is, some that MK is based Ultra on true shit. story. Yeah, that's yeah. based on some crazy. Yeah, shit. Yeah, no, that's that is based on true stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that's some MK Ultra fucking. Who that knows what? Weird. I I, I went. <laughs> have to you heard of that movie? No. It's about the military, like uh, MK Ultra ish tups type stuff, where they train people to use their brains. And this dude, they make it funny, right? Like George Clooney's kind of crazy, but he thinks he can like control the whole world with his brains. But they're like U.S. military cats, and it's based on a true story. What's it called? Men who stare at goats. Men I, who stare at no one talks about that anymore. I feel like that was a huge movie, movie when it came out. Yeah, it was like kind of a niche. It almost had like a Coen Brothers vibe. It yeah. did have a Coen Brothers yeah. vibe. Yeah, because it's kind of goofy. Yeah. Uh, I saw that movie in the theater with our friend 
Cove. Oh, really? Yeah. And he that's still quotes that movie to me I was gonna all say, that's of a, the time. That's a Cove type movie. Yeah, totally. totally it is a good movie, that. though. I've seen like clips of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's funny. Cloney and Pitt. Yeah, yeah, I wonder why that genre era of, of actor, besides, I guess, Will Smith, who's sl- kind of in that, haven't really like stepped into this Disney world. Like the Marvel y the the or D C or any of it, the superhero movie. Well, well he no he did he did a superhero movie. Clooney was Batman. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Clooney was Batman forty years and, ago. Yeah, and you mean like in their older age. And yeah. When Will Smith uh That's what I mean. Will Smith's the only one was in that superhero movie yeah. that I, never, I can't remember the name Suicide of Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. He was in not one that before. one. Oh. Yeah, yes, he's in that Hitchcock. one, but that's oh, Hitchcock? Hitchcock. Hitchcock. That's the one yeah, I'm talking about. That's that was a terrible movie. Yeah, that was fucking movie awful. Was pretty bad. Yeah, that's whatever. Him pretending to be drunk was that's not the very, same. very bad. Yeah, yeah, that's not the same to me. I mean, like this, this fucking playing an playing an established comic book character and like a saying. blockbuster budget. Yeah, like yeah. you know, throw one of these. Like w- Will Smith could probably do one, but like Clooney and Pitt could definitely do one of these bitches. You know, like Pitt could have been Wolverine. He's supposed to be a small, kind of strangly little dude. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he could... Yeah, yeah. Or right. even like a Thor type. That's what I'm saying. Or a Loki or some shit. Like yeah, he could have done, done, done all that. And all, just, I just mean that old school class of who you think of the best character yeah. actor, right? The Leonardo DiCaprio's, the fucking... Gwyneth Paltrow's the whatever the shits. Yeah, the Ocean's Eleven squad. Right, yeah. that, like, that which was, one of them are going to be? That was the, the legitimate superhero. Hollywood Avengers, right? They yeah. grabbed every best actor they think yeah. they could find and threw them into Oceans. How has none of them taken a role in any of these? Because the budget's there. Um, one of them has. Um, Rhodey. Um, why am I blanking on his name? Uh, took over for Terrence Howard. Cheadle. Cheadle. Yeah. Cheadle's, Cheadle is a big name for sure. Oh, yeah. Cheadle did do the Iron Man. But if you're yeah. talking like, if you think like, all right, best actors all time, most famous, maybe not best because that's more opinion of, you know, you're you're not going to say Cheadle. Probably not. You're saying the Clooney, the Pitt, the C- DiCaprio. The you could probably do a Clooney like uh, Dark Knight Returns. We like, should do like a, an old, the old man well, Logan. Yeah, we should do a Dark Clooney Knight. Logan Batman. He's in. Uh, right? Where, where When Batman dies, he needs to be Clooney. He's in. At the end of the Flash, as Batman, oh, as Bruce Wayne, a little. Oh yeah, they threw him in that, huh? Yeah, I don't understand that, but yeah. But there's just so Different many timeline. Yeah, let's yeah, go through all the timelines. I guess the one is Patrick. It's uh, Professor X. Yeah, because you'd say he's like an actor. Yeah, I know he was a he was a Shakespearean yeah. actor before he did, and then he was in Dune, the, in the yeah. the um, David Lynch Dune. And That's then, right. Yeah, and then he uh, was in Star Trek. But still not like and then the, this. Like he's made a lot of money in yeah. genre for somebody who started off as a Shakespearean actor. <laughs> but he's still not like the name. He brings a like certain class to everything he, he does. does. Yeah. He's he's good. That's why it was so funny in this movie because he just like I said he curses like a sailor. Yeah, his voice is so distinct and good. Yeah, but he's still not like the A plus celebrity I'm talking about. No. I don't know. I, they're probably too expensive, or they want too many points on the back end, or I don't know. Yeah, too I mean, worried about it. I don't understand. Being bad. I, I think you have to take an RDJ, somebody who um, revitalized his career and helped them create a whole, you know, cinematic universe, and then they owed him, I guess, and they feel like they still owe him because they're bringing him back. Yeah, we'll see how that works. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I know Mike has a heart out at 10, so let us uh, rate this mother. Um, I'm struggling with a good with a good solution to uh, to the rating system, but I think I'm just going to say Wolverine Claws. Yeah, I was going to say Experimental Kids, because it's got like a Stranger Things going on in that scene. <laughs> it does yeah, have Stranger does, Things vibes, yeah. big time, yeah. big time. And which, which, which came first, this? Stranger Things. The uh, first season? Yeah. The first season of Stranger Things, fucking so good. Oh yeah, that's I mean, very first, yeah, first too. Two. You seen those? Yeah, the no. fr- all of them are good, but the first season I thought was fucking sick. Yeah, yeah it, it was, was really, really. It was good. a phenomenon. It was one of those. You should watch it right now because it's Halloweenish. Stranger Things. Oh, it is Halloween. Yeah, first yeah, season of Stranger Things is a fucking ripper. Chef's kiss, man. It yeah. was so good. It's good. Maybe we even cover that when I get back. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, all right, man. Wolverine claws. How many I'm claws a, he has? Three? three, five fingers, three claws. Yeah. They make those really cool ones you can buy that just like sit like almost like uh, brass knuckles that yeah. just sit in your hand. Then it just looks super real. Yeah. Um, 
I think I just get a pair of those. Um, you should. You should just walk around. I'm just like, I'm all fucking, in on Wolverine you now. fucking I'm a, freak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to walk in. What's up, guys? <laughs> um, I'm going to go fucking 4.7 out of 5. Nice. Uh, Wolverine Claws. I love this movie. I love the stakes. I love the the cussing. I love all that. I like all that. Yeah. Like, Is that this you don't first really rated get. R? Oh, for sure. Oh, well, unless, Blade, think, unless Blade was. Oh, Blade. Uh, Blade might Blade, have been PG-13. I think Blade was, was PG-13. And Deadpool yeah. wasn't a thing? Deadpool was R. They were all rated R, I think, except for the second version of two, which they wrapped around the Princess Bride somehow. But was it before this? Before this, yeah. Oh. But that, but that was not Disney. True, true, true. So that's the thing. And and the the fear about this movie was that Disney was going to make them tone it down. Not this movie, but the um, but Deadpool, Deadpool versus yeah. Wolverine, or and Wolverine, whatever the fuck it's called. Um, that they were. Gonna Tone it down, and they did not. And the truth yeah. is, is Deadpool Good. is a comedy. Correct. Right? Yeah. So like this is a Action superhero comedy. movie. There's nothing funny in this movie. There's not a one single funny part in this movie. No, uh, no. Maybe uh, except, when you first see Professor X, the professor is funny. And he, the bald guy, the 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 creepy alien. Caliban guy. Yeah, he's, he's funny in the beginning, right? He's I guess like you have quirky. to have a minor comic relief to yeah. kind of yeah. like ease you in. Yeah, yeah a little. Tss, yeah, tss, pressure stress release. Is, stress is high. Yeah. Um, I'm probably gonna go similar, like a four or five, four or six. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. Probably top, yeah, the, the the Dark Knight trilogy, this. When you're talking about, like, sick fucking movies you can watch a million times in a row that are in the superhero world, it's definitely in the conversation for best. Yeah. It's definitely a solid four and a half for me. Yeah, yeah it's good. It, it, it's it, not talked about a lot, though. Um, No, although... Not I think enough, that, yeah. Yeah, people are talking about... A, have been talking about a little bit more just because of the... Uh, Deadpool and Wolverine, yeah. Wolverine movie because yeah. it, it connects so closely and yeah now you know. I gotta watch that shit but I ain't paying twenty five bucks. Well, the stupid thing is it'll be twenty five dollars for two weeks and then next week it's gonna be fucking free on Disney. You know it's gonna be free. I know it's gonna be free on Disney in a fucking yeah within a month right yeah I, this movie I I watched this one on Disney um, and I have Disney with commercials so that doesn't not, not that big a deal because there weren't that many commercials but you can like rent it on Amazon for four bucks, I guess, without commercials. Mm. Mm. It's a little all over the place Yeah, uh, at I, this point. That's the whole system. Yeah. Every movie's everywhere. It's weird. Yeah, I don't understand it. Yeah, great movie, though. All right, check it out. Happy Halloween. What you got, Dean? Hit him. Yeah, you can find me at, you know, at Kevin Gilos at DeanSource.ck. Ladies and gentlemen, new episodes every Wednesday, 3rd Street Barbell, Sacramento, California. I'm Solomon Mike. Where you want to find me? I'm at the G McD on all those social media. This show is 50% facts. Percent is a word and 50 is just numbers. 50% facts. This is Speaker Prime Podcast Association with Larry Media on the Obscure Celebrity Network. I'll talk to you. We'll talk to you next time.